Hello, this is Tony Lombardo again. I uh, did a video last night on Freddie Green style comping on the tenor guitar, this instrument here. Four string instrument tuned C, G, D, A. I know Freddie didn't use that instrument, but I'm exploring what he did on standard six string guitar on this instrument. I'm going to be mainly on the top two strings um, to get the Freddie sound. A lot of people emailed me last night after my video and said, why are you only playing on two strings? Freddie didn't play on a lot of strings. Freddie kept, uh, kept it really in the middle of his guitar to get that nice tenor voice against the bass player's uh, bass sound. And he would play on the G string and the D string. We're playing uh, G string and C string, which works really well and in some ways better because the notes roll closer together, get a little bit, it gives you a little bit more harmonic possibilities. Um, or at least as well, but I think a little bit better. Freddie didn't use a lot of notes in his chords. He liked to leave out the one in the, in the five a lot and concentrate heavily on the third note of the chord in the seven. So let's do that today. Let's play a 12 bar blues, key of G. So the chords will be G7, uh, C7, and D7. Well, to get a seventh chord in this tuning, you got a really nice, nice chord right there. I'm going to play the first finger on the third string, fourth fret, and uh, let's, get a little, let's get a little volume, actually. I'm going to turn on an amp. I know Freddie didn't use an amp, but I don't care. I'm using an amp. Yeah, so I'm going to play the third string, the G string, first finger, fourth fret, that's a B note. That's my third of G. And then on the top string, the C, I'm going to put my middle finger on the fifth fret, that's an F note, that's a, that's the seven of the chord. So I know what you're thinking, well if I move that down a fret, if that's G7, I've got G flat seven. Well you're right, but I've got more than that. I've also got a C7, because if I flip flop the seven and three and make it a three seven, that's the three and seven of C7. I've got the, the middle finger grabbing the fourth fret, that's an E note. That's my third of C7. I got my first finger playing a B flat note. That's my seven. So I go G7, go back and fret and get C7, my four chord of the blues. If I go back to my G7 and go up a fret, I've got a D7. I got my middle finger playing F sharp note and my first finger playing a, a C note. That's the, that's the uh, three and the seven seven so one shape three different frets for my full 12 bar blues treatment I'll be playing just those two notes and scratching the other two here we go 12 bar blues one two three four C7 there's G7 there's that C7 there's G7 again here comes D7 Just simple 12 bar blues with that one little uh, chord shape moving it up and down one fret in each direction. That's the kind of small movements and half step conceptions that Freddie used a lot to get that nice pulse. I hope this helped. Um, I'm going to do a lot more instructional videos as I learn this stuff. I'm kind of learning as I go and showing you what I've learned. I woke up this morning with this blues idea. I didn't have that together last night. Um, and as I, as I learn more and more, I'll show you what I got. I'll do, I'll do some of it on tenor guitar. I'll do some of it on six string guitar. And, um, and feel free to, to email anytime uh, or leave something in the comment section. I'll respond to you. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Tony Lombardo, and I will see you soon.